and wives and children stood at dockside in Halifax and in Esquimalt on the Pacific shore and wept and hugged one another as our warships again departed port carrying our armed forces personnel to various parts of the world and primarily to Afghanistan and to an uncertain future, a future in which some would die, some would be injured, and a future that none would probably, re probably return unaffected in one way or another. making this sacrifice because they care, because they believe in doing their duty for God and their country's values, the values of freedom, justice, values worth defending and in preserving. The men and women we remember today at this cenotaph were like those who have gone to fight this war on terrorism. They served at home and abroad leaving their families and friends at dock sites and train stations as they departed, some for months, some for several years, and unfortunately, some forever. They were the forces of other nations committed to liberating those who were, were oppressed and overrun by the enemies of peace and freedom, and gave themselves in whole and in part so that not just we, but all peoples, might live without fear and allow all to raise children and grandchildren and enjoy the fruits of their labors and the blessings of civil rest, no matter what race, color, creed, or political persuasion they might be. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We remember them and their sacrifices today. And we and the citizens of many countries around the world thank God that they, along with their families and our entire nation, were willing to step into the breach and to take up the struggle with the foe, the foe which would extinguish the torch and bring darkness upon our world. Today, we recognize that we're not alone in the current struggle, nor were we alone in the past. We remember the sacrifice of not just our own citizens today, but the sacrifices also made by our allies. And today we have with us many young men and women currently serving in our armed forces. These young people indeed are taking up the torch, the 
the light of freedom as they engage in duties and help to create and preserve justice and equality among all peoples. And they are to be commended. For it is for such as these young people that those we remember today gave themselves in the hope that they might live long and prosper. And to such as these they have passed the torch that it might be held high. remember those who gave them themselves in the last century. Let us honor them by pledging ourselves to their struggle, the struggle for true peace, the peace that does not come with victory or defeat, but with justice throughout the world. Let us pledge ourselves to fight the evils that drive nations and peoples to war, poverty, hunger, racial and religious hatreds and persecutions, ambition, greed, and the oppression of the weak by the powerful. Let us remember today those who made the supreme sacrifice for the sake of true peace and pledge ourselves to their cause. Lest we forget.